All right, hey everyone, it's Mr. Sheridan again. All right, we've gone over, so we've gone over a lot with uh, Fusca ball. Gone over how to throw the Fusca ball, how to catch the Fusca ball. All right, we've gone over the indoor rules for Fusca ball, shooting it at the basket, how that works, the scoring. We've gone over the outdoor rules for Fusca ball. All right, so this last video, uh, most important thing for Fusca ball, besides obviously the throwing and catching and knowing the rules, okay, and the good teamwork and everything, but probably the most important thing is how to get open, all right? is getting yourself open when you don't have the ball. Because think about it. Fusca ball, there's only one ball, right? Game's usually played five on five, six on six. Outside, it can be played even maybe more. There's a little more room, seven on seven, eight on eight. All right, so you're not going to have the ball the majority of the time, right? Just like basketball. There's one basketball for five people on a team. So you have to find ways to get open. Same thing with Fusca ball, okay? It's a really underutilized skill is how to get yourself open from a defender. Because you're going to have, you know, if the other team's doing it right, you're going to have a defender guard you really close and not letting you get the ball. All right. And like we said, there's nothing that bugs us more than just seeing, you know, everyone on the team yell, I'm open, I'm open, James, I'm open, you know, Sarah, I'm open. And you're not open. Right. And you're just standing there and, and then you're mad. Well, why didn't I get the ball? Well, because you weren't open because you weren't working hard enough to get open. So you got to find ways to get open for the ball because Fusca ball, the key to success is quick, short passes. OK, high percentage passes before the defense can get set. OK, and even know what hit it. All right. So if you have all your teammates moving to get open, making cuts, doing whatever, okay, that's going to make it a lot harder to defend. It's going to make you a lot more successful on offense, all right? So a couple different ways you can get open, okay? And these are pass routes we like to do in flag football, okay? But you can also do them in Fusca ball, whether in the gym or inside, okay, in order to get open, all right? Uh, so we're going to go over a couple different types of pass routes and kind of show you here in, the, in our lower gym on how you can get yourself open in order to help the person who has the ball you know, out, right? Because, again, they only have three seconds to get rid of the ball. They're going to have a defender close to them. So they don't, you don't want them to start panicking and just throw it up for grabs and then you know, it's you know, not likely to be caught. Or just chuck it deep. Again, those passes are not likely to get caught. All right? So help your teammate out who has the ball and, and figure out good ways to get open. All right, and move with a purpose, right? Mr. Batista always says, move with a purpose. Same thing here, all right, uh, for this sport. All right, so the first way, uh, first kind of pass route in order to get yourself open is called a curl, all right? Curl, C U R L. All right, again, it's a really simple move. I'm not going to start with the ball, so I'm going to pretend like I'm a receiver for all these, okay, in order to, you know, in order to catch the ball. Okay, I'm here, I have a defender here. All I'm going to do, okay, is kind of curl, circle, and then, okay, as you can see, come back for the ball. All right, so what I did, I kind of demonstrated here. I curl it here, okay, and then I come back to the ball. All right, so it's almost like you're making like a little circle cut, okay? So again, I'm here, I'm trying to get open. Let's say my teammate's over there with the ball, okay? Boom, and then I curl, make myself open. I change directions, right? Anytime you can change directions with, you know, when you're trying to get the ball, that always helps, right? Because the more you get that defender to have to move to guard you, the more tired they're going to be, the more, you know, the more likely they're going to, you know, kind of be out of breath and, you know, not play as good defense. Okay, so that's the curl route. All right, another good one is a slant. All right, is a slant in order to get yourself open for Fusca ball. Okay, slant route. I'm here. Okay, and then I just kind of cut across here, calling for the ball, showing a target. I can do it on this side. Slant here. Call for the ball. Okay, show a target. Okay, slant is like you're making like an S. Okay, it's almost like you're cutting across the field. All right, you're making a good, sharp, hard, uh, hard sharp X. Again, uh, moving to get open. Okay, calling for the ball too. You can call your teammate's name. That's always a good idea to get into too when you're doing a slant route. All right, so we have a curl route, which is like a circle route, and we come back. We have a slant, making an X diagonally across the field. Okay, then we have a down and out, which again, down and out, I'm trying to get open. I'm taking a few steps forward here, and then I'm cutting to the outside, okay? Cutting to the outside this way, okay? I can do it the same thing over here, down and out, here, okay? A few steps forward here, and then call for the ball, okay? So again, you're taking three or, four, three or four steps forward, setting your defender up, okay? And then boom, cutting hard to the outside, all right? The quicker you can make these cuts and make these routes, again, the more likely you are to free yourself from your defender. That's, that's the whole point. Okay, of these cuts. All right. Uh, last one, okay, is called uh, a comeback, okay, or a button hook, kind of. Okay, button hook, kind of similar to a curl. You're going forward, you're going forward, and then you hook back here, okay, for a target. Okay, so you take a couple steps forward, get that defender, think like you're going long, boom, and then you come right back to the ball here. Again, similar to a curl route, okay, uh, and you know, and make that catch. All right. Uh, so again, these are just some routes, ways to get open, but the big thing is the more you can move to get open, the more successful you're going to be for your team, the more likely you are to get the ball, okay, and the more likely your team will find success, you know, in either indoor or outdoor football. So like we said, move with a purpose.